Hi there, it's Nina Nandagopal at almostpractical.com and I am here today to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a filter in Gmail. Using filters in Gmail can save you a lot of time, it can help you empty your inbox to zero, and it can also help you find an important email when you need it. Now I'm sitting here with a newly minted Gmail account, so there's nothing in it really right now, but I'm going to walk you through the motions um, on how you would create a filter for your own inbox. On the home screen where you have your inbox, you would go up to this little settings icon, the little gear, and click on settings. And then across the top, go to filters and blocked addresses. And this is where we would create a new filter. Now, when you create a filter, you base it on certain criteria. So usually, typically, it's the from address that you're that you're filtering on. And that's because you might get a lot of emails from a certain person or a certain company. Usually, you know, when it comes to cleaning out your inbox fast, your inbox is probably filled with emails from, um, say, a, a store like Gap or Target or Kohl's, or maybe um, from, some e from some newsletters that you sub subscribe to, so from a particular sender. So in this from box, you would type in who the email is from. Now you could either copy the address exactly from, you know, open up another one of the emails that you've previously received, or you could just type in the domain and it would pick up anybody from that domain that sends you an email. So for example, if I use gap.com, it could be sales at gap or info at gap or anybody from gap.com that sends you an email would get um, grabbed up into this filter that you're setting. So what we're going to do is create a filter with this search and we're taken to this new screen where what we're going to do is tell Gmail what we want it to do with the emails that we receive from gap.com or whoever, whatever the sender is that, that you're trying to filter for. So what I like to do is skip the inbox, okay, mark it as red, and apply a label to it. And in this case, I don't have any labels set up, so I can create a new label, and I can call that Gap. And there's a little Create button that you don't see. Let me see if I can get that to you. Oh, there we go. So we're going to um, create a label called Gap, and you can see that it shows up right over here on the left-hand side. And now, every time and when I hit create filter, every time that I receive an email from Gap, it's not going to land, land in my inbox. Gmail is going to mark it as red and it's going to be applied the label of Gap. And so when I want to see these emails, I'll just click on Gap. And if I'm, I use Apple Mail as a mail client, so it actually creates a folder in Apple Mail instead of a label. And so in my mail client, I can go to that particular folder. And you might want to test your sync settings and make sure that that actually works. Maybe use some more unimportant type emails to set your first few filters. The other uh, very powerful tool that Gmail has is this line right here. Before you create the filter, you can ask it to also apply the filter to, and in this case is zero matching conversations, but if I had an overflowing inbox with you know, thousands of messages, I probably have quite a few in there from the sender that I'm creating a filter for. So I might have a, a lot of Gap emails or Target emails or Kohl's emails. And I want to filter them all automatically so I don't have to go through my whole inbox and decide what to do with each email. So I could check this box and it would process the email according to these criteria and get them out of my inbox and into this into this gap folder or label. So I'll create that filter and then you can see it would have a whole list of what filters I have and right now I just have this one. But what happens is now when I go to gap I can pull up this folder quickly on my phone and see that hey do I have any um, coupons that just recently came in the mail? Is there a sale going on? And I know exactly where to find it when I'm in the store and I can show the cashier my coupon on my phone. 
So it, this, that was just an example. Um, this is a great tool to use when you're receiving emails from different clients and you just kind of want the emails to go directly into a into a label or a folder so that when you're ready to sit down and work on that client you have all of the emails in one place or if you are um, receiving emails that you just kind of need to hold on to and that you don't really need to do much with them you can get them directly and automatically out of your inbox you never even see it it ends up in this label and you know that when you're ready and when you need them you know exactly where to go to find them so Filters in Gmail is a very powerful tool and can save you a lot of time. I hope you found this, e uh, this tutorial to be helpful. My name is Nina Nanda Gopal at almostpractical.com.